All right, we got uh, Monday, April 3rd, 9.15 in the morning, 85 degrees. Hey guys. Hey, we're sitting outside Spence again, and uh, sorry about the construction noise, but it is nice out, a little cloudy, a little overcast. I think it's supposed to rain a little bit today. But I get a lot of questions on uh, food, and um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on like the, the traditional Filipino breakfast, or at least kind of what I've noticed so far. And uh, yeah, you guessed it, it includes rice. So down here at uh, Spence again, and thought I would uh, order some breakfast at uh, this place. It's really good. And uh, so yeah, here we are. Yeah, here's a, let's see if we can get the video, the menu here. I should do a screenshot, but I'm still a little technically challenged. Uh, but yeah, you can see the menu here. What I'm gonna get is uh, this, where's that at actually? It's a breakfast plate. Not that, oh yeah, breakfast plate. So yeah, they have chorizo, bacon, cured ham, corned beef, and probably the sausage, but I'm gonna get actually bacon. Um, I've gotten the French toast here before. That's really good, the apple cinnamon. These are priced out in pesos, so. So yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, breakfast plate, okay. uh, scrambled eggs, uh, bacon, okay, and uh, also do a uh, salted caramel okay, and water. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Plain rice, garlic rice. Uh, plain rice. Plain rice. Yeah, salamon. It's really good breakfast here. I've had, actually had this breakfast once before, and it's great. And you're gonna see, you know, it's probably your, well, you're, you'll see. <laughs> also, too, um, I'm actually on my way to Baraka in a couple of days. So I will be there almost a week. Um, I'll be there during what's called Holy Week here. So it's actually gonna be, I, I think it's gonna be quite busy. I think it's gonna be a little bit crazy out there. So it'll be interesting to compare it to Bintayan Island, which is where I was just at. So yeah, I'll be there. Really excited about that small island. Uh, just, you know, stunning, beautiful. It's a little more touristy, I think. It's got a little more of an international scene. Um, you know, I, my understanding of Bantan Island was it's more, it's more of a Philippines destination, so like Filipinos would go there. Um, the people that I actually met there, a lot of those people were from Cebu. Um, so, you know, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. And, <laughs> what about it's going by, going by. But yeah, and then Barakai, on the other hand, is more of a, you know, more of an international destination. People from all over the world go there to kind of check out the beaches. So we'll see. I, I have a feeling it's gonna be a pretty big difference from uh, Bintan Island. Yeah, it's actually been really cool watching this building go up. Um, uh, you know, it looks like it's the new new condos that are being built here. It looks really great. They've got some, they show some pictures on the side wall here of what it's going to look like. Beautiful pool and yeah, just pretty spectacular. And it's been fun watching it just being built. You know, I've watched probably four floors uh, being built since I've been here. That's kind of wild. You can see now they're actually hauling up or bringing down a section of, uh, of building, whatever. But yeah, it's been pretty cool. I haven't really done a lot of research on Barakai and what's available there. Um, for me, I just I just want to go and experience the beach and you know maybe tour around the island a little bit. It's a it's a really small island. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't done a ton of research yet, so you know I think I'm just kind of winging it. I'm just going to go out and check it out and uh, you know see what I can find out there and just kind of walk around the beach and swim and. You know, maybe see if I can do some island hopping and tours like that, but uh, you know, I don't really know a lot about it. So it'll be fun, it'll be a good time. So some of the kind of wild things that's been going on the past couple of weeks as this channel grows is people have been coming up to me. <laughs> and uh, you know, that's it's kind of shocking and, and exciting at the same time. I'm, you know, I'm always, uh, you know, I'm just not used to it yet, right? So it's it's kind of, just, I mean, the idea that people are watching is really kind of cool. And uh, um, so, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, that's been um, exciting to kind of see the growth and, 
into that. But then the people actually come up to me and say, hey, I watch your channel. I'll, you know, I like what's going on. I like what you're up to. And, and you know, and, or just have questions about, you know, hey, I'm here. And, and um, you know, how does this work? How do I get around? Where's, where's JRC and phone stuff? And, you know, and, and that's great, man. I, I love it. And, uh, you know, if I can help anyone, um, you know, come in here and, and, and checking it out, let me know. You know, if you're coming here on vacation or if you're coming here to move, uh, you know, the gentleman I spoke with yesterday or the other day, Dan, you know, just a great guy. Gosh, we're, you know, very similar situation. Matter of fact, we ran into some neighbors that I introduced them to, uh, just people I've met along the way, and they're like, oh my gosh, are you guys brothers? <laughs> so, you know, but anyways, you know, if, if I can help people, um, you know, get acclimated or, or the kind of transition here, like I said, whether if it's vacation or moving, you know, let me know, because um, it is a lot. And, you know, I remember um, being on a Facebook group and, and, and somebody asking, you know, just reaching out to the whole group saying, hey, are you, were you afraid when you moved here? And, and uh, it is, it's, it's, it's challenging. It's, it's not an easy thing to do to just pick up and, move to another country. I mean, <laughs> it takes something to kind of pull that off and to do it. So I get it, right? Obviously, I'm. this is a very new journey for me as well. And, and if you're considering this, and or, or just, you know, what, whatever, you're just checking it out and, and, you know, you have no intention of moving here and you're just kind of along for the ride. Uh, but, uh, you know, but if you are looking to come out here and you need some you know, need some boots on the ground uh, perspective, you know, let me know. You know, I'm, I'm happy to help people out. And, you know, maybe it'll inspire a video like it did the other day where I just tell people, hey, this is where things are at here. Um, I do plan on doing one for IT Park. I don't know, you know what, I might be able to get that done before I fly out. Um, it just kind of depends on, on the, how the next couple days go. but. Um, you know, doing a quick video of IT Park, kind of walking around there, pointing out where things are at there. Um, it is a lot more spread out there in IT Park. You know, it's a little bit bigger of a bubble um, than it is here in the business park. Uh, but, and again, too, right? I, these are all my experiences, you know, and, and I'm still learning. I, you know, I am hardly an expert when it comes to what's here, what's available. Um, but I do feel like, because I am so new, I can offer you that new perspective, that new guy perspective of what it's like and, um, you know, as I discover things as well. So, yeah, I'm just kind of throwing that out there. I'm, I'm no expert. I'm no expert on Filipino culture. I'm no expert on living in Cebu or the Philippines or any of it. I, I'm very much learning as I go. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's actually gone quite well, all things considered. I mean, I've. I've probably spent the past couple of years researching being here, so. What's up, man? Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Tell them up. I sorry, I bought the dungit, sir. Yeah. We ran out of dungit, sir. Ran out of? Dungit. What's it's, that? Uh, the oh, bacon. The, oh, no, no. the dungit, sir. The fish, uh, dried fish. Oh, the dried fish are out yeah. of the truck. Okay, that's okay. okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Ah, so no dried fish, which honestly, it, it is a big part of it. Um, that That's all right. No worries. Yeah, so uh, caramel latte, really good. Ah, yeah, it's delicious. Well, that's too bad. They're, they don't have the dried fish because that is a huge part and something that's really unique to Philippines is uh, you know dried fish with your breakfast <laughs> I've had it before and you know it doesn't taste like chicken <laughs> uh, you know it's not bad though and, and they serve it with vinegar too so I guess you you take the little they're small they're about the size of a you know a 50 cent piece and you um, just dip it in the vinegar and eat it. So that's all right, you'll have to trust me that it, uh, it tastes like fish. But it, you know, it's actually not that bad. Um, it's not that bad, I've had it before. It, and you know, it tastes like fish and it's dry. I'm laughing because it's, you know, it's obvious. Uh, 
but it, but it is. It's got you know just a real. It's almost like a chip, you know, just a real crumbly kind of kind of thing. And a couple of times, what I've done is I've chopped it up and mixed it every all all of it all together, which is how I like to eat my my rice and my eggs. It's just kind of chop it all up and mix it up uh, with the fish. But hi, uh, good morning. But uh, yeah, that uh, I probably won't do that again, just because it was a little bit too much fishy egg and rice breakfast. But uh, but anyway, I don't normally drink coffee. I'm more of a tea guy. And that's actually been one of my challenges I'm still trying to figure out. Maybe if you live here or know where I can get tea, I'm more of a loose leaf tea guy and I like a, a black tea. So I brought a bunch with me. I've got like four or five bags still, big, you know, big, uh, whatever, one pound bag. So I'm, I got two more of those left. So I got a good couple months left, but I'm still, I need to figure out where I can get loose leaf tea. And maybe I just switched to coffee, I don't know. But I really like a black tea a little bit better. It's got, doesn't quite have the caffeine um, that coffee does. And I kind of, I have to watch my caffeine. I can overdo it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I like black tea a little bit better. And it's, it's not as strong as tea as far as the taste of it. So I, I find that I could just drink that straight. I don't have to put anything in it uh, to make it taste good. Where with coffee, I, you know, I'm pretty much putting a bunch of stuff in it to where I like it. Like this, you know, there's caramel and milk and everything else in there to make it sweet and yummy. Versus black tea, I just drink, you know, as is. Also too, if you've been to, uh, Brock I. Let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions on things I should do while I'm there, island top hopping tours or, you know, yeah, if you have any experience or knowledge of, of what's great there, let me know. I'm just, like I said, I'm winging it, man. I'm just gonna go and check it out. I'm not gonna bring my drone just because when I looked at the, the map, I can't fly it there. I'm too close to the airport. There's maybe actually one spot way to the north that I could fly it. And it just takes up so much room and I'm gonna be flying. So I will be flying out of Cebu to there. I can't remember how much I paid for the flight. I'll look at that. I'll do a kind of a whole flight and everything recap. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna bring the drone just cause there's limited spaces I could fly, but I'll, I'll bring the rest of my camera stuff. Uh, of course I'll vlog, you know, everything while I'm there. A little hot today though, I'm not gonna lie. 85 degrees. Oh, that's it, the sun's coming out. Ooh, here we are. Nice, Salaman. All right, so here we are. Traditional Philippines breakfast, minus the fried, uh, dried fish. So let's check it out. You got your egg, fried bananas, little cucumber, my bacon. Yeah, and then there would be like some fried fish, in, or fried, some dried fish. All right, so what I like to do is mix it all up. And again, you notice I don't have a knife. I got a, I got a spoon and a fork. But you use your spoon, it's your primary weapon. That's what most, most people, most Filipinos will have, their spoon in their right hand and uh, the fork in the left. And then, you know, a lot of places too, actually, you'll just eat with your hands. And uh, either, you know, sometimes like if you're out, you'll actually get a glove, a plastic glove, and you can eat like that. So that's another way of eating here. It's just straight with your hand. So I think these are just fried bananas. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's good, yeah, it's great. And you got your egg and rice, you know, and that's, uh, yep, just some plain rice. You can get garlic rice too, but that's great, man. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this down, but this is your, uh, your traditional Philippines breakfast. And if you are dating a Filipina, you will be expected to have rice three times a day, just so. As a heads up, get ready for that. So, all right, I'm gonna eat this real quick. You know, I have to say, I'm actually becoming quite fond of eggs and rice. And um, 
yeah, I actually really like eggs and rice. You know, they go well together. They really do. Um, I mean, you got fried rice, right? Which has eggs in it a lot of times, but I'm really digging eggs and rice. All right, all done with breakfast. Yeah, that was good. Really enjoyed it. I like this place. It's good. You know, it's a little more expensive, I think, than your normal restaurant. And of course, eating at home. Yeah, I usually eat breakfast at home, honestly. Usually have either like oatmeal or you know, I make rice and eggs at home too, but occasionally I just go out and grab, grab some breakfast down here, some brunch down here. We're good. I like it. It's just incredible how nice and friendly and smiley. I mean, even she's wearing a mask. She's got an incredible mask smile, right? And just people in general are incredibly happy. And that's just one of the main reasons why I moved here. Um, I, I've got a video that I've been trying to make now for a while. It's why I moved to the Philippines. But, you know, fundamentally, that's it right there. It's just a happy environment, you know? And this has got to be one of the happiest places on the planet. All right. Are you a flagger, sir? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, uh, carefree, Chris. Carefree, carefree Chris. <laughs> she's so, but yeah, she's so sweet. She, you know, I walk by here like ten times a day, right? Like an exaggeration, but I walk by here daily, almost. And uh, you know, they're always big and smiley and waving and you know, just really, really incredibly nice people and generally nice too. Not like a, you know a fake nice, you know, just, just curious, nice people throughout so far has been my experience with people for the most part. I mean, there have been a couple instances where, um, around that clone market, that one vlog I did, you know, there were some people there that might have been a little cranky, but you know, it happens. I mean, but for the most part, I mean, everyone's been just incredible. Awesome. Salamon. Yeah, emping. Okay. And one of the questions the, um, the gentleman last, uh, the other day, Dan asked me, is like tipping. You know, um, is it normal? I don't, I don't think it's normal to tip in the Philippines. I'm still figuring this part out, honestly. Um, but I do think that, you know, that, you, you know, you can live you know, same kind of, you can tip like you would in the United States. So here, you know, 100 pesos is probably too much, but I don't know, I, I, she's really sweet. I like this place a lot. Um, but you don't have to tip. I don't think, um, I don't think Filipinos tip. I don't think it's normal to tip here. However, I do think that, uh, you know, they see you as a foreigner. They kind of maybe expect you to tip you know, just because you are a foreigner and a lot of the foreigners do tip. But, you know, whatever. I think 50, 100 pesos on most things is, is kind of normal. And, uh, but it isn't the tipping culture like you have in the United States. It, it, it's not quite like that. Uh, but, you know, if you want to tip at a restaurant, you know, kind of the same thing, 10, 20% is uh, probably the normal, the standard. So, anyways, that was breakfast, good stuff. Like, like I said, I, I think what I'll try to do here in the next couple of days is get out to IT Park and record a quick video on, you know, just kind of that area, what's there, how to navigate around, you know, as, as a perspective from a, a person who's just here, newly boots on the ground. Um, so I'll create, you know, similar to what I just did with Cebu Business Park. So uh, I'll create a video on that too. So anyways, until the next video, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. It's just incredible. So thank you so much. Yep. Bye.